From deep in the bowels of the Winners and Winers Sports and Entertainment Complex, it is Saturday, the 31st of August. It's the first day of real college football, and that makes this the Deep Three. Guys, if you would, take a minute and hit that like button, hit that thumbs up. I appreciate the effort. Let me know that you appreciate what we're doing here at Winners and Winers. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you should do that. Uh, haven't checked out the other guys doing videos. We've got some other great video handicappers. And when you ring that bell, you'll get notified every time one of them puts up brand new content. And of course, don't forget to check out winnersandwiners.com, the reason for the season. The best, absolute best, bar none, uh, place for free predictions, previews, picks every single day, every single game. Check it out. There is no other place like it. While you're there, if you want to grab yourself some premium plays, we can make that happen. And if you want a little bit of a discount, we can really make that happen. Just use that code UBZZ55D35. Easy to remember, right? Uh, that'll get you 35% off of any Winners and Winers premium product. And that is good for today. That's the August code. So make sure you take advantage of that and grab yourself some savings. All right. So before we get rolling on the D3, we'll talk about yesterday's action very briefly. We had the uh, we had the Murray State Racers. Over seven and a half. Holy crap, is that a bad team? Woo! I guess that's what happens when you uh, bring in 65 new guys to play on your football team. Uh, I'd have to look at the drive charts. I had that game on. It was one of four that I was watching. I don't think they, I, I don't know that they made it past midfield. They probably did, but I certainly don't remember it. And they definitely didn't threaten to score at any point. Um, I know I talked to the comment section of, to a couple different people that were loading up on Murray State plus 50 and a half. That was a bit of a bad beat as Mizzou had fourth and four from the uh, fourth, fourth and goal from the four uh, with time running out. And uh, they were just going to run it up the gut. Murray State had done a decent job of stopping them. I think they would have got the stop. But instead, they had movement along the offensive line, five yard penalty back to the nine. And Eli's like, yeah, we just kicked the field goal now. So they did, and they win and cover the number. Grr. So that's the way that one went. You know, these games, this first couple of weeks of the season, when you're taking these gigantic spreads, it's always an excitement. So, and I know a lot of people were unhappy with my parlay yesterday. Sorry. Um, you know, I'd given you a couple plus money baseball plays this uh, this week already. So uh, yeah, come me come a little slack. I mean. Let me take a minus 160 parlay. Um, all right, so let's get rolling with today's action. First game we're looking, looking at is Austin P and the Louisville Cardinals. Cardinals minus 36 and a half. Yep, we're going to lay that ginormous number here. You know, the Governors, they are not without some talent, but they have just too many fresh faces in the trenches. It's going to be hard to get much going against this very stout Louisville front seven. And uh, Tyler Shaw transferred in from Texas Tech to take over the reins at quarterback. He is definitely an upgrade over Jack Browning. I think Jeff Bone gets to show off his offensive genius a little bit more with Shaw in the saddle. Give me, uh, give me Louisville to cover that number. And we're going to take a total here in the Boise State Georgia Southern game, looking at 57 and a half. We're going to play the under. Both of these teams have outstanding defense, and Boise returns all 11 starters, while the Eagles return eight. On the offensive side, well, the Georgia Southern, they've got a lot of new faces, while the Broncos have a few, uh, including quarterback Maddox Maston, uh, Madsen. He got the promotion. So he got a few snaps last year, and uh, I'm not sold on him yet. This all this offense for Boise State is all about Ashton Genty, both running the ball and catching the ball out of the backfield. And make no mistake, he's going to get his, but I think Georgia Southern uh, can limit the damage. The other side of the ball, I don't think the Eagles are going to be able to get much going at all against this veteran Boise State squad. Give me the under 57 and a half there. And we'll finish it up with our dog play. Miami of Ohio plus 140 over Northwestern. Brett Gabbard back for his seemingly 14th season at Miami. And while he never he may never hold a clipboard of the NFL like his big brother, there's no question the Red Hawks are a much better team with him at the controls. They went five and one to close the season after Gabbard got hurt last year. And they did it by playing extremely good defense, giving up just 10.7 points per game in those six. I am not convinced that this Wildcats offense, who was terrible last year, got any better. On the defensive side, 
pretty stout unit, but they did lose three defensive backs to the portal. Um, it's hard to find upsets on this day because you got too many 20, 30 point spreads, but I think this one is live. Wildcats are playing in a weird little 13,000 uh, capacity stadium there while they wait for Ryan Stadium to be rebuilt. Um, we'll see what happens. This one could get funky. I don't think it's going to be a fun game to watch, but we'll see if we can uh, get out on a top. So uh, just to recap, we're going to take Louisville minus 36 and a half. Georgia Southern, Boise State. By the way, that game is played in Georgia, and it is going to be hot down there in Georgia. High of 93, 94 degrees, of course, with humidity. So we're going to play the under 57 and a half. Could see some guys running out of gas there in the second half. And finally, our dog play is Miami of Ohio plus 140 over the Northwestern Wildcats. At the end of those three, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, guys. As always, thanks very much for joining me. Seems like it's been a long offseason. I know we had a little taste last weekend, but we're full throttle this weekend. Here we go, guys. It's going to be a while before we're without football again, and I, for one, couldn't be more excited. Have a great Saturday. Let's go beat the hell out of the bookies, and we'll be back tomorrow to talk all about it. Take care. See you then.